to get back to Pereira, Artem Vakatov, who beat Alex Pereira. He's the last guy to ever beat Alex Pereira in kickboxing. He just earned his UFC contract last night on Dana White's Contender Series. He got the knockout win. Said that he's coming for Alex Pereira. He says that he wants to fight Pereira. I'm like, dude, you're you're probably a few fights away here, you know. But considering how fast they streamlined Pereira to fight Izzy, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that if Pereira beats Ankalaya, this is a fight the UFC wants to make. So um, Pereira actually vouched for him. By the way, told Dana White, "You should sign this guy. He deserves it. He was there at the apex." Yeah. Uh, just awesome. Like, I love that about Alex Pereira. The fact that he just was in a war with Khalil Roundtree. The next day, he's training his sister for her karate combat yeah. debut. And then that night, he's at the apex. Uh, like, watching Dana White Contender Series, trying to bring one of his old rivals into the UFC. I just love that. Yeah, I think guy, that's so fucking awesome. Dog. Yeah. Yeah, I think even if they streamlined Artem, it's probably like... Like if you you look at Alex Pereira's streamline, I think it still took two years for him to get the shot. Um, two years from now, Alex is potentially a triple um, division champion. Yeah, and if not, he's already fought probably four more times since then. He's gonna be thirty nine years old. I don't think he's gonna have any interest. He's probably like if everything keeps going the way it's been going for Alex Pereira, he's gonna retire at thirty nine as the goat of MMA and just leave it at that. I, I think Artem won't excite him, but. Whatever, it's a cool story. Like get get another guy, yeah. get 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 people excited about Artem. Hopefully he does well. And even if he doesn't fight Alex Pereira, he will always have like the last guy who beat Alex Pereira. So it will always be an exciting fight, I think. Whoever yeah, and it's not against. it's not the same thing as like the Izzy storyline because Izzy was 0-2 against Pereira in kickboxing. And uh, you yeah. know, Izzy was so dominant in MMA, nobody had heard of Pereira. So that was like that storyline just kind of uh Yeah, they're trying to redo it, and it's just not the same juice behind it. Yeah, it was naturally built in. The only way I could see it happening realistically is like if Pereira loses that heavyweight fight or it just doesn't happen somehow. And then they get like three fights for Artem in over the next year where like he just gets three straight knockouts and ends up like, let's say he ends up like knocking out like Izzy, for example. Like what if they yeah. do Vakadov versus Izzy or they do yeah. Vakidov versus, um, you know, like uh, like a Strickland and then yeah. and then he knocks he knocks him out. Then I think that no, not sorry, not Strickland. Uh, this is light heavyweight. I'm sorry, not Izzy. Yeah. Uh, he 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 fights uh, like Blahovich. You know, he knocks out Blahovich or something yeah. like that. Then I could see it happening. Um, but you know, that's like he's he's far away. Either way, cool story. So Just happy to see him uh, vouching for an yeah. old rival, especially the last guy to beat him too in kickboxing. You know. Yeah.